इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड आई एस ओ आई ई सी ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड वन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सिक्योरिटी एंड रेजिलियंस बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम क्लॉस फाइव पॉइंट थ्री रोल्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड अथॉरिटीज हाई फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल हियर एट टी एन बी अकेडमी इन दिस सेशन वी आर अबाउट टू डिस्कस द क्लॉज फाइव पॉइंट थ्री रोल्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड अथॉरिटीज ऑफ एन इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड आई एस ओ आई ई सी ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड वन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दैट इज सिक्योरिटी एंड रेजिलियंस बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन दिस सेशन वी शैल कवर ऑल द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ क्लॉज फाइव पॉइंट थ्री रोल्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड अथॉरिटीज इन डिटेल अलॉन्ग विद सम एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस as the requirements of the clause 5.3 depend upon the requirements of clause 1 clause 5.1 and clause 5.2 of the standard i would like to recommend you referring these clauses for better understanding of clause 5.3 let's discuss now about the outcome of this session after completing this session you will be enabled to understand and verify the implementation of the requirement of clause 5.3 of the ISO 22301-2019 you will learn about the organizational roles responsibilities and authorities relevant to business continuity management system or bcms towards achieving the goals of the organization now let's start with clause 5.3 roles responsibilities and authorities the requirement of the clause 5.3 roles responsibilities and authorities of the standard are that top management shall ensure that the responsibilities and authorities for relevant roles are assigned and communicated within the organization top management shall assign the responsibility and authority point 1 for ensuring that the business continuity management system conforms to the requirement of this document and point 2 for reporting on the performance of the business continuity management system to the top management let me tell you here the mandatory document requirements for this clause 5.3 if we talk about mandatory documents business continuity policy should be documented and maintained to meet this requirement the records of communication of policy and training programs to make organization aware with policy can be retained for future while improving the policy document now let's start with clause 5.3 roles responsibilities and authorities of iso 22301 2019 this clause 5.3 of iso 22301 2019 requires that the top management provide adequate resources and allocate responsibilities and authorities essential to implement business continuity management system effectively organizations can undertake this by defining the organizational structure and linked hierarchies numerous methods like various job descriptions the organizations maps organization charts various procedures work directives etc can be used to define organizational structure and responsibilities can be used to define organizational structure and responsibilities within the organization please have a look on the screen here you can see a sample organization chart of a finance company the intent of the clause 5.3 is to ensure that staff members understand their roles and responsibilities with respect to the implementation and reporting of components 
of the business continuity management system and maintain importance on customer requirements. Descriptions of jobs, generally called as JD or job description, is an easy mechanism through which organization can specify what type of trainings, qualifications, and experience each job role requires. This will help organization in getting the exact applicants while employing for a position and also ensure that the employee is clear on the job requirements and his responsibilities. These organization structures, roles and responsibilities need to be communicated and deployed within the organization through training, orientation programs, capacity building, meetings or through instructions or procedures. Furthermore, the top management needs to continuously work towards improving the processes and getting alterations and improvements to the business continuity management system. According to clause 5.3, employees shall be encouraged to also suggest opportunities for improvements and the top management shall ensure that integration of business continuity management system is maintained when these changes are planned and carried out. As a conclusion, we can state that the guidelines under clause 5.3 define that the top management shall assign the responsibility and authority for ensuring that the business continuity management system conforms to the requirement of this standard of ISO 22301-2019. It also specifies that top management shall assign the responsibility and authority for reporting on the performance of the business continuity management system to the top management. Now, coming to an important aspect of the standard, that is, practice writing non-conformity under this clause. First of all, let me explain in very brief what exactly is non-conformity. Non-conformity refers that the organization is not fulfilling of the requirement of one or more provisions of any clause of the standard. Non-conformances are most commonly revealed during verification or inspection activities. Non-conformity may be of two types, minor non-conformity and major non-conformity. A minor non-conformity is the failure to conform to a requirement that in the auditor's opinion and there is no failure of the business continuity management system. It may be a single observed lapse or isolated incident where there is minimal risk of non-conforming products or services being released to the customer. A major non-conformity would be the total breakdown of the management system or one of its processes or the failure to address a key requirement of the standard. Let me give you an example of non-conformity here under clause 5.3. You can see here on the screen a sample auditor finding and action report for having an idea about writing non-conformities under this clause 5.3. It specifies a minor non-conformity under the clause 5.3 of the standard. I suggest you go through it and try to understand the various components of it. So friends, we have now reached at the end of the session. I hope that you have an idea about clause 5.3, roles, responsibilities and authorities of ISO 22301-2019. I sincerely thank you all for your interest and attention. Thanks and best wishes.